What is going on guys, this is Ben here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Boom Beach uh, In-Depth Guide, and this is going to be for the, the Heavy Troop. Of course, many of you may already have used this troop or are past it, uh, so this is just kind of get the basics of it. So if you're a higher level in Boom Beach, uh, this video may not be as helpful to you. Uh, but yeah, so for the Heavies, they are basically like the Giants from Clash Clans. Uh, they eat up a ton of damage, they move kind of slow, and they don't really give as much damage, or they're, like, when they shoot, they're not, their damage per second isn't as high. But yeah, I can just give you some stats here. When they're level 1, they can take, their hit points is 1,000, and their damage per second is 26. And then for levels 1 through 7, their health, their health points, or hit points, go up for about, they go up about 80 every time you level them up, and their damage goes up by about 3. And then when they reach the 8 and so on to like level 20, it goes up by about 140. And their damage per second goes up by 4. So my heavies are level 7, I think. So they have 1,587 health points. No, actually they're level 8. So they have 1,714 health points and 46 damage per second. And then I do have the statue to increase their health. So that is why I have a little bit more. And so I'm just going to show you a couple of attacks with just using all heavies. Um, this is definitely not a good strategy if you're just looking to actually raid bases and win. Uh, I would definitely prefer using, you can use, have, using heavies is great, just not using all heavies. Um, usually you want to use like two gun or two landing crafts and, or three. And then all your other ones you want to have like Zookas or Riflemen. Because basically you want to drop your heavies first and have all of the big like splash damage and rifle tower or sniper towers and all that attack the heavies and eat up all the damage so it doesn't kill your other troops um like with the zookas you want to use flares a lot with these troops um and, like flare them around the base and just to make sure you don't get your heavies too close to like splash damage where the the like say it's in front of a mortar and the mortar doesn't attack the heavies and then it'll leave your zookas wide open so that's, you really don't want to, it's like a delicate strategy, I guess, but a lot of you already probably know that. Uh, but yeah, so they're basically just like kind of like mini tanks. Uh, they don't, they don't deal a lot of damage, so it takes them a while to destroy bases. That's why using all of them, well, isn't really that great of a strategy. Basically, you Zookas, Riflemen, and I can show you, I'm going to show you an attack here where I kind of just... I kind of use my, uh, what's it called, the warrior strategy where you kind of run around the entire base and just go for the headquarter. Uh, but if I was using warriors, this would have been a lot easier and a lot quicker of a raid. So as you can see, this guy's headquarter is just sitting in the back of his base. And with the warriors, I would just run around it completely because uh, they're quick and they gain their health back when they attack the head, like when they attack a building. So I'll just run around it and then go for the headquarters. So I'm going to try it with all heavies, see if I, I can actually make it. Uh, they're very slow, so it's going to take them a while to get over there. And then like my flares, I think, last around 10 seconds. So I need to use an excess amount of flares to keep them on the right path. But yeah, so like I said earlier, don't want to use them all together. I know I've said that a few times, but it'll save you a bunch of time. You just want to, like my favorite strategy while using the heavies is like, three three gunboats so that's nine heavies and then the other three that i have i use the zookas because uh you get like i can get i can fit seven zookas on my, my landing crafts and nine heavies and 21 zookas is pretty a pretty good army because the zookas just kill out like everything really fast as if you keep them grouped together um, the only downside is like you don't want to attack bases with the rocket launcher. Uh, those kill the Zookas, and without your Zookas, you're pretty much left unopened. But yeah, as you can see, I made it around this guy's base. Uh, and stunned as much as I could. I fast-forwarded a little bit here. And I was kind of surprised I actually won this. But it was just like the perfect type of base for me to actually get that. Uh, so yeah, you can see I only have a couple of heavies left. I think five, if I can count. Yeah, five heavies left. I was surprised to get it and uh, took a lot of time. Um, very slow, just kind of sitting there, just letting the heavies do their thing. 
But yeah, I, I don't recommend that, and I hope this video helped you out a little bit. I know this is more for like people that are just starting out with Boom Beach, and or maybe who people who have not played Clash or anything like that before, and just kind of need some help. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, for my next ones, it'll either be my base design for Boom Beach. That's really works really well, and for Clash Clans, we just had a pretty amazing war. I'll I'll probably end up doing a video on that. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, if you liked it and, and enjoyed it, uh, subscribe to my channel for more Clash and Boobies videos. And I'll see you guys later.